Hey guys, Chris here, and I am super excited to share this video with you because we have recently decided to upgrade our water heater from a tanked suburban water heater, a six gallon tank, to a Fagati Insta Shower 8 Plus tankless water heater. It is amazing, we've enjoyed using it, and we wanna share how simple it is for you to make the switch as well. In this video, we're gonna walk you through how to switch out your old tanked water heater and put in one by Fagati. We did partner up with Fagati in this where we went to their facilities and we had them show us so we could show you how easy it is to make that swap out. The InstaShower 8 Plus is pretty awesome. It's 55,000 BTUs, which is more than enough heat to be able to heat up the water for you. Comes with a remote setting, which is great, where you can set the water temperature between 95 and 123 degrees. You can set it and just leave it, which is what we do. So we just go in the shower now or the sink, we open up the hot water, and it comes out at the temperature that we want it to come out at. It's rated at 2.9 gallons per minute, so it's just like taking a shower um, at home or at a campground, where you won't even notice a difference between the continuous hot water that's pouring out at great water pressure for you. It's also rated for high elevation, so it's functions 100% perfect at 5,000 feet in elevation. We've tested that. This has done great for us going above 5,000 feet, but it's definitely rated for normal use at 5,000 feet. Also, because of our lifestyle and being off-grid and going down dirty, dirt bumpy roads, this thing is rugged and it can handle all of that. I think probably the best thing about it is that it is built specifically to replace the six gallon Atwood or Suburban tanked water heaters, which means you don't have to or you shouldn't have to do any kind of major construction in your RV or change too many things around in order to make this switch. I will let you know that we did have a couple hiccups when we were installing ours, and we'll go through that throughout the video. Um, however, this was a relatively easy swap out. It's something that if you have basic mechanical experience, basic elect electrical plumbing, um, and maybe a little carpentry here or there, you can make the switch out pretty simple in an afternoon. That being said, let's go ahead and jump into this swap out install. We are just outside of Los Angeles, California at uh, the Fogati uh, Water Heater Company, and they're going to take out our old water heater and put in a new one, which is gonna be pretty awesome. It's gonna be an on-demand water heater, which means all we have to do is turn the water, hot water on, and it's gonna fire up automatically. We have, like many RVs, a traditional hot water heater. And what that means is that there's a propane component and there's also an electrical component. And it's a six gallon container of water that gets heated up and then you use it up and all the water is gone. So with this on demand, it's gonna be great because we're just gonna turn it on and have, unless we're out of propane, unlimited or water, unlimited hot water. And we're super, super, super excited about that. So in this video, we're gonna show you the process of taking out our existing RV hot water heater, and we're gonna show you put, show us putting the Fogati water heater in and all the connections that go along with that. Again, we're super excited about this opportunity to upgrade our RV. Upgrading your RV water heater is not something that you have to do. It's definitely, it's gonna be an upgrade, and we're pretty excited about that. With the on-demand water heater, there's gonna be zero maintenance that we're gonna to have to do with the traditional suburban water heaters. You have an anode that you have to keep up with and you have to replace it. If you don't, inside of your uh, water heater is gonna rust. And when that happens, you're gonna end up with it corroding out and water's gonna end up all over the inside of your RV. This is something we know our RV is now 23 years old. We know it's something that we have to be worried about in the long term. So that's why we thought this was a perfect opportunity for us to go ahead and put the on-demand water heater because the last thing we wanna do is have our water heater go bad on us. The first thing we're gonna wanna do, of course, when working with propane is to turn off the gas. And both the, the Suburban water heater as well as this one on demand, they both use propane. So that's why obviously we want to make sure that the gas supply is turned off. Outside here we have a release valve that's going to drip out the water and so we can drain the tank. And then inside there's a knob that we can cut off the water flow into the tank. And so that way we don't have to let all the water out of our actual fresh water tank. It's going to be still in the pipes inside the camper, but it's not going to be coming into where we're going to be working today. Not too bad. Yeah, wow. So what? Six gallons? Six gallons, yeah. Okay. 
So this is the anode, and uh, this is what helps protect the inside of the water heater. And so you want to have a, a nice one that should be looked at every six months or so, which for us it's been about six months. Uh, every year they're probably going to get chewed through. It depends on what kind of water you're putting in. As you travel, you never know the quality of the water where you're going. So the anode is going to protect your water heater. And again, it's good to look at them every six months or so. And you're only going to find these in the traditional tank water heaters. So the suburban models are going to have these and they're going to require that you maintain them regularly. So again, this is what we're talking about with zero maintenance when we put in the on-demand water heater. So these water heaters are connected inside in two places. One is going to be the propane. So this is coming from a propane line and the other is going to be the water, which is on the inside. The hose that goes in to bring water in is going to be disconnected. And we've got to disconnect the propane input here. And once that's done, the whole unit should slide out. Right now it's being a little stubborn because it's 23 years old. Taking out the old water heater is relatively simple. It always starts with a couple of screws you're going to take out along the frame. And once you do that, it's going to loosen up everything. Of course, if you have sealant around the outside as we had around ours, you're going to have to cut the seal and you're going to want to scrape that sealant off so you can put the new water heater in nice and flush. When disconnecting the propane, it may be a little bit challenging. Ours was challenging. So we actually took off the propane components on the outside part of the water heater so that we could have access to better access to be able to disconnect the propane itself, the input where the propane comes in. That's an important thing to make sure that you've got everything disconnected so that you can literally just pull the old water heater out. Coming out. Coming out. Woohoo! Look at that. As the water heater slides out, you're gonna have access to the wires. And at that point, you want to go ahead and disconnect the wires that are currently going into your propane or currently going into your water heater. What you're gonna to wanna to do, if you have an Atwood or a Suburban, it runs on 110 volt and 12 volt. So you're gonna to wanna to disconnect both of those. Um, you will reuse the wires that are connecting to it for your 12 volt. But with the Fugatti InstaShower 8 Plus, uh, it is only 12 volt. There's no 110 volt there. So you can cap those wires and kind of tuck them out of the way. But you're going to disconnect the wires once you pull the old water heater out enough to reach the wires. That way there's no more entanglement because the propane and the water are disconnected. And then once you cut these wires, it's free to pull right out. This is what a 23 year old suburban water heater looks like. It has seen better days. We were really, really close to having that leak. It's starting to rust out here. So when we replaced this, when we bought the RV and we replaced the first anode, there was nothing left of it. So it had already started rusting when we owned it. We flushed it out and we had some of the chunks come out and some calcium there. But um, this is this is a good deal for us. Like we were. We're, it's on its last leg. So. You can see in our case, we had a lot of corrosion going on and there's a lot of rust and other debris that had fallen um, underneath the water heater. So getting a look in there is kind of scary at this point because we saw what we were up against that we didn't even realize we were up against. The InstaShower 8 Plus from Bugatti is an awesome, awesome tankless water heater. It supplies 2.9 gallons per minute through the system, so it feels like you're just in a normal shower. It's 55,000 BTUs, which is more than enough to provide hot water for you continuously, as long as you have propane and water connection. It comes with an awesome remote that you can move around or you could mount that you can set temperatures between 95 and 123 degrees. So what we like to do is set it to the temperature that we like. Then all we do is open up the valve, the knob on the sink, or the shower and the temperature comes out at the rate that we set it and that's amazing we don't have to mix any cold water or try to find that perfect sweet spot we just set the temperature using the remote what we really love is that it fits into the six gallon atwood or suburban standard water heater tanked water heater if you have a larger size you may have to modify that you may have to buy a kit to um, make it fit into the same dimension holes however for a six gallon swap out this is the perfect fit 
and that's something that makes it amazing. It's also designed for high altitude use, so you can get up to over 5,000 feet where it'll work perfectly, and it's designed for rugged terrain. It's a sleek looking tankless water heater. We love our Fugati Insta Shower 8 Plus, and we think you will too. The biggest issue we had with swapping out our old water heater with the new Fugati Insta Shower 8 Plus is the fact that while the opening was big enough, it was perfectly sized for that. There were some screws on the top of the Fugati water heater that were preventing us from fitting it all the way in. So we had to take out some tools and make the opening just big enough to be able to slide those screws through the opening so that we could secure the Fugati Insta Shower 8 Plus to the side of our motorhome. Otherwise, it fit perfectly and that's really, really awesome. So do be aware that you may have to notch out like we had to. You may have to notch out just a little bit here or there in order for it to fit perfectly in, but its dimensions are designed specifically to replace those six gallon uh, Atwood or Suburban models. Another issue that we had that we resolved relatively quickly was we bought flexible propane pipes so that we could uh, connect and move around um, and make it fit perfectly. So we had the standard in our motorhome, the standard copper pipes that were already fit to the water heater that we had in place that was installed by the manufacturer. We didn't want to have to bend those or pull them or tug on them in any way. So what we did was we bought an extension with the flexible hose and all the adapters that go with it so that we could make the fittings fit perfectly. That may not be something that you have to do, just depends on how your hoses are set up. You might also do the same thing with your water. Um, if you don't want to play around with trying to fit your PEX pipe perfectly if you have PEX back there, or you may not want to have to cut and recut and try to figure out perfect fit. If you get the flexible hoses, you can go to Home Depot and get both the propane and the water, and that way you can have more than enough room, more than enough flexibility and wiggle ability, I just created that word, so that you can make it everything fit perfectly inside your, um, inside your motorhome or trailer. Like yeah, check out. We're just off by the bush. <laughs> we have hot water. Oh, Unlimited dropped. hot water. But then it went yeah. back up. Yeah. It works. <laughs> yeah, generally you eat. And the water pressure, the water pressure is amazing. Yeah, it's probably about like yeah. almost two gallons. <laughs> Last step. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. And that's it. Even with a couple hiccups, it shouldn't take more than a couple hours where you're able to disconnect, pull out your old water heater, go ahead and throw the new one in, reconnect everything, and have it working for you. We are so excited to be using ours. We use ours every single day. We do not question whether we're gonna have hot water come out. We do not even have to guess what temperature it's gonna come out because we have our remote where we can set it at our desired temperature. We don't have to mix the hot and the cold and try to find the perfect amount. And most importantly, we don't have to time our showers. So we do boondock and we like to conserve our water everywhere we go. But when we get to a place where we have full hookups, we can literally, Lindsay can go in the shower and she can do her hair and not have to worry about cutting the water off, doing military style showers. It is truly an unlimited source of hot water for us. We're super excited about ours and we've dropped a link in the description where you can go buy your Fugati Insta Shower 8 Plus. They're very reasonably priced. They're competitive with all the other ones and the technology and the support, everything that you get with this is well worth your money. We think you're gonna enjoy it. Leave us a comment if you've got a Fugati Insta Shower 8 or any of their other models. Let us know how your install went or if you have any other questions about how you can install yours. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like it if you did. Again, please leave a comment or a question if you have one. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. We thank you for taking the time to watch this video and we look forward to seeing you out on the road.